The San Francisco 49ers are finally playing at home, and what a way to start things off at Levi, welcoming the Green Bay Packers to town, who have a new slogan, it was just one game. Rodgers with Jones floating out of the backfield and dancing in the end zone. Aaron Rodgers returned from the upside down world, putting up four TD passes, a rating over 145. Rodgers steps and fires. Adams is there and he's got it. And like Will, when Rodgers emerged, his buddies were waiting for him. Rodgers off the back foot. What a catch by Adams. Rodgers zips one in there for Tunyon. Rodgers wants to throw for it again, and he's got it. Aaron Jones, touchdown. Green Bay will be up against a much tougher Dema defense, I guess, because apart from one long pass play, San Francisco's secondary held court against Jalen Hurts. Hurts, another deep shot for Smith in traffic, and he cannot come down with it. Hurts also spent plenty of time trying to get away from Nick Bosa, who chased him down twice before it was all said and done. Pressure on Jalen Hurts, and down he goes. And as dominant a night as Rodgers had, he did get sacked three times, so pay close attention to those trenches in this one. And Rodgers runs right into Michael Brockers. Green Bay's running game wasn't necessarily needed last week. The team and Aaron Jones finished under four yards a run. But Jones did score on the ground, and his value in their passing attack is invaluable. Rodgers to throw, got it to Jones. San Francisco, though, struggled against ball carriers in their win over the Eagles. It was a bit of a soft spot for them. Option play with Sanders, who gets the pitch and the first down. Their own rushing attack was a bit of a disappointment as well. Elijah Mitchell unable to sustain his opening week success. For a second straight carry, it's Javon Hargrave there to wrap him up for a loss. Green Bay's run defense wasn't really tested, and they were fine against Detroit's two backs. Kenny Clark put an end to that. Their pass defense still has some holes in it. Jared Goff had his way with them in the first half. Goff by some time and throws down the sideline for Quinton Seafish. He's got it. But once they had the lead, things turned around for them. Throwing as he's hit, he's intercepted. They really miss Darius Smith, though. Only took down Goff once, and when they didn't blitz, it seemed like Goff had all day to throw. Goff with good protection. Now loads and fires. Smith's absence is good news for Jimmy Garoppolo. He didn't take any sacks last week on his way to a plus 100 rating day. Garoppolo has a man on the perimeter. That's a touchdown. On the flip side, 6.3 yards per attempt, under 200 yards, and 40 of his yards were Debo Samuel's feet. Remember me, punk? I may have to honor Sonny each time Samuel has a big game this year. It is a Garoppolo pass down the seam, and he connects. There goes Debo Samuel. George Kittle was quiet last week, but that just increases the odds he'll be loud this week. Run it again! Run it again! Woohoo! <laughs> I wonder if Packers superfan Tom Grossi will try and sneak onto the team's plane, like in their luggage or something, to make his way to the bay. Seems like something that guy would do. And that's why Game Preview Guy's a fan. Oh, I know there is more than one bay. The green one is cool too, not trying to play favorites or anything, but you have to tell everyone who the favorite is to win this game in the comments section, along with the score. Our panel will do the same on the screen.